sometimes cracks don't look like they should. Mega so good. One of the advantages of doing inspection with phased array is that we can see all of the angles at the same time, and this makes it a really good training tool, even for conventional UT, so that we can start to visualize the different responses we get with angle off of real weld flaws. I'm going to take this FlawTech plate, this Vermont NDT 10 MHz 32 element type 10 size transducer, and we're going to scan a couple flaws in this specimen. Starting with the root crack, as I move the probe back and forth, pretty easy to find right here. Number one, we know it's a root crack because it's got a big corner trap signal. That's the big red banana in the middle. And then you can see a couple of tip diffractions or reflections off of facets or tips as I move the probe back and forth. But this is at a relatively low angle. Here I've got it set to 52 degrees. The chances of you having a 52 degree probe with conventional UT are about zero. You're probably using a 45, 60, or a 70. With this one, I just can't hit this flaw at 45 degrees because the plate is just not thick enough. This is a 5 8 inch plate, and with this probe and this wedge, I just can't get close enough. So I've got to hit it with a slightly higher angle. Let's pretend that this was a 60 degree probe. The A scan at 60 degrees only looks like this. And the first thing we notice is that it is all over the place. It's really hard to peak this signal. In fact, what we'll do here is we'll just auto 80 that, bring that signal back down again. And you can see that it sort of peaks way off of the back wall. So this might fool us. This might convince us that it's not root connected. But the fact of the matter is it is root connected and flaws are just weird that way. This one in particular is a realistic weld flaw. So it's got facets and it moves back and forth. And what happens is that all those little facets are at little different angles. And although we expect the biggest hit from the corner trap, that's not always the case. Sometimes some of those facets are tilted away from us. Sometimes they're tilted towards us. We might get them better on the second leg. And that reflection may be louder than the corner trap itself. Now we'll take a look at 70 degrees, move the angle cursor up, go back over to the A scan. Here I will peak the signal and you can see at 70 degrees, it peaks a lot closer to the back wall than it did at 60. Now let's go back and take a look at the whole thing again in phased array. So the closest I can get this probe is right here, which puts my angle at about say 49 degrees to the corner trap. Now at this position, the tip diffraction right there on the top looks like it's about 11 millimeters down from the top. If I check the bottom tip diffraction, we're kind of in the same territory. I'm pretty happy that we know the height of this flaw, but the whole point of this video is not to do tip diffraction sizing, although that's always fun. The point is to show you how differently the crack will reflect sound at different angles. So let's pull the probe back. As I work my way up through the angles, you can see that corner trap signal kind of stays where it's supposed to. But look at the amplitude differences. When I was right up close, the root signal is definitely the loudest part. But as I move the probe backwards, look what happens with the facet reflections. When I'm way back over here, what's the loudest part of that signal? It might be that top reflection. So if you're trying to peak this with conventional UT at that angle, you may think the weld flaw depth is actually way up here when it's actually way down there. The point is this, trying to size and characterize flaws using just one angle is really an artwork. Uh, art form, I meant to say art form. I've been mixing this video for like eight hours. It's driving me nuts and then I get to the end and I say artwork instead of art form. It takes a lot of years of experience to get that right. Using phased array makes it so much easier. And not to use phased array as a crutch, but I like to think of phased array as the best training and illustration tool to show you how things can change with angle on real weld flaws. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and thanks for watching.